I mean, as soon as I heard the concept, I was excited about it. Yeah. And, um, you know, it was interesting to see how it was going to play out for the athletes that had to do a lot of multiple events and the strategy for the coaches of how many events to put them in. And I think, um, I think a lot, most of the teams did really well and they learned the first couple sessions when they started, athletes started getting tired uh, because although it's like a college dual meet, these guys are going 110% and sometimes in those college dual meets you might be able to back off or, you know, not give it that full effort and, um, you know, they're, they're getting tired. But as you saw, especially in the skins race here at the end, these, these athletes were, you know, could hardly climb out of the pool. So I think it's great. Um, as the series progresses, I think we're going to keep learning and keep making changes to those lineups and, you know, you're going to see a lot of really, really good swimming. I mean, these are professional athletes that really have never been treated like professionals. So, although some of them have sponsors and, and some of them, you know, make a little bit of money to get by, some of them also have jobs, right? So this is hopefully going to grow into something where this is all they're going to do and all they're going to focus on, like like the other big sports. People love swimming. Why why won't they love watching it? Especially in a format like this where it's exciting. There's not a lot of breaks, race after race, music, lights. You guys were here, you know what it was like. The people back home that saw it on TV told me it was exciting to watch on TV too. So I feel like this is something that's going to catch the eye of people that aren't just swim fans. The everyday viewer that just puts on the TV and says, I'm going to watch a baseball game today that's not a baseball fan. Now they're watching a swim meet. And maybe they get into it and now all of a sudden swimming's growing because some of these little kids start swimming that never thought about swimming before. Well, I, there's trash talking amongst the GMs, of course. We're all we're all friends, but we all want to beat each other. So um, it's like it's like anything. When I was an athlete, I'd be friends with some of the people I competed against. But when it was game time, I wanted to beat them. As soon as that game was over, let me talk again. There's definitely talk of that, and I think that's something that needs to be done. Um, our sport is way behind when it comes to that, and. These athletes deserve, not just in this league, but they deserve a lot from a lot of different people that they don't get it from. So um, they're, these are the best in the world and they need to be treated that way. Jason, when you were training, were you working at Home Depot? Did you be part of that? <laughs> that was a friend of mine actually okay. that was doing that and he was on his feet 20 hours a week and training probably 20 hours a week. And his training wasn't where it should have been because it's pretty hard to be standing, working at Home Depot, and then coming back and trying to train at the highest level. So that's uh, something that's been a problem for a long time. And like I said, a lot of these other athletes did have side jobs, and hopefully they'll be able to get rid of those. And you'll see the best athletes performing at their best more often, and you know people going beyond what these records are now.